Get a 14 day free trial and 10% off from today's sponsor at squarespace.com forward slash forge. You rolling? Yeah. Okay, great. Well, give me this. Jamie, how about this for an idea? You've seen me make a lot of hammers. Have I? You've seen me make several hammers, many well, times. Oh yeah, but when was the last time you made a hammer? Years ago. Okay, but what about this as an idea? Though you've not done a lot of blacksmithing, you've seen a lot of it, do you think, having watched me make all these things, you might be able to make a hammer on your own with me striking? I'd have to like watch a video of you making a hammer to like get the idea, but maybe, I don't know. I think this would be a good fun. I don't have any of the tools, so I've got to make all the tools for it. We have an old punch. We need a drift, bottom fuller, top fuller, pump tools. So if we're going to do this, I need to cruise on through, and we're going to start with the drift. Doing a little bit of homework, Jamie. Let's have a little watch, see how it's done. It's a video from six years ago, how to forge a rounding hammer. That's probably back when I knew how to forge a rounding hammer. All right, Jamie. This right here is what you're starting from. This is going to make approximately a two and a half, maybe three pound hammer. So you've made... Actually, no, I didn't make this. I made this with my friend Monty in 2011. So this is an ancient tool right here. So we've got a small hole maker. This is, hole maker. A, this is called a punch. Small hole maker, right? Punch. Small hole maker. Drift. Big hole maker. Yeah, so that's a drift, and then some rough and ready fullers. Then we've got a thinner and a fatter. Not quite. No? Nope. You'll also need a pair of hammer eye tops. So what we're doing there, we're just getting straight into it, or what? Well, you're in charge. Okay. You'll work out what you want to do now. I need to put a center punch in this first, right? I don't want guidance, though, unless I really need it. If you ask me a question, should I reply to the question? I don't know, and I'm kind of like just speaking out. I'm putting my thought process out for the camera so that people can understand what I'm trying to think as an amateur as a beginner sort of thing. Like, what are my questions that I have? This ruler is so... You can't even read this ruler. About four and a half. Let's see how the center punch shows up when it's hot. This beefy one would have been helpful. Are you already sneaking around? Have I already messed up? I'm not sneaking around on anything. Let's also see how he finds the other side of the hole. As I'm gravitationally impaired, I'm going to be standing on this very secure tire to swing the sled. God, it's so stable, you wouldn't believe it. Right, I would be ready, but my striker is fastening around, putting different shoes on. Right, first things first. Can you see it all right? Just about, yeah. Right, a little tap there, I think. Are you supposed to spin this round as well? I think you're supposed to spin it round. Jamie, you look like a natural. <laughs> I think I messed up already. I think I'm supposed to center punch both sides and then you gradually go through both sides, right? So that it matches in the middle. Half there, half not there. Half there, half not there. There's different school of thoughts on one half. Well, the video that I watched, you were going, you pushed it out through the other way. But how would you know where that was if you hadn't gone through it from both sides? It's very difficult to not answer anything. There's the first drop. Uh. Oh, it feels good to swing a sledgehammer. Yes, I've missed this. There we go, you got it. See, I'm trying to think now. How the hell do I get it through the other side? You don't, you don't just go through one side, do you? I swear you go through both. But when is the question? Do you go until it makes a point on the back and then you copy it? I'm just going to keep going with this for now. Spun the wrong way again. Do you think you can see where the hole is? No. Have a look closer. Oh, yeah. No, it's still 
Yeah, you just said, oh, yeah. Look closer. You saw it. No, I don't. I don't see anything. Yeah. What do you mean? You can see it. You see that? No. There's a square here. I don't see that. There's a little shiny square right here. That's just scale, surely. So that scale is get shinier because the bottom of the punch is poking right there. Now let's do one more hit in here. And oh. then as soon as you get the tool out, flip it over and have a look. Uh, uh, not showing up too much there. Right. I'm going to do a few more of those just to go a little bit deeper. A couple more of these. One more. OK, a little tap. Turn it around to see it from the other perspective. See if you like that. I think so. I mean, the thing is, is that when I start putting, this is just a small hole maker. Once I put the big hole maker in there, it'll figure itself out. OK. So that's what I'm going to go with. How are you feeling so far? Well, I think it's going OK. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. We'll find out. I think he's doing a really nice job so far. He's getting the hang of the tools. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. He dropped a brick. Tell you what, swinging a sledge is like riding a bike. What do you mean? It just kind of comes right back. It feels so natural. It's not that hard to swing a sledgehammer, is it? Wow. Ooh. Having fun. All right, why do I keep getting stuck? What does that mean? <laughs> Point that hole to the camera. Look at that. You see daylight. The plug is about to pop out. It's already kind of starting to look like a hammer. Ow! OK, I'm going to help you. Yeah. Ta-da! The plug is actually looking really beautiful, Jamie. Is it? I think it's going to come out on this hit. Place your bets. Oh, we did it! <laughs> oh, if you don't know, getting a perfect plug is Oh, it's the icing on the cake in blacksmithing. It also looks pretty straight. And that's a perfect plug. Lovely, lovely job, Jamie. You should be very proud. So we're done with the small hole maker. Heat the thing up, big hole maker. The way this is going is you call what Jamie's doing as being the director, what I'm doing as being the striker. And when you've got a really helpful striker that's made lots of things with you, he usually helps set up the workstation in between heats, so you don't have to worry about it. The advantage of having the striker set the tools up, some little tips can come across the way. Waha! You're trying to work out why that's there. Don't think we needed that yet, but maybe we do. Now, why would we need that without that? Because I thought they worked in tandem. You didn't get that out, which means that we don't need it. I think you might be having me on. Thank you, Striker. <laughs> Do I just keep whacking this in? And then I need to get that out of there. And then I just flip it with my hand. <laughs> so me, myself, I'd be drifting it a little bit further from the one side. The drift is just barely getting in there. It needs to go a little bit more. I don't know what you're saying. And then you use the fuller on the side of the cheeks to begin bringing that material down. At the end of the day, there's a thousand ways to skin a cat, a million ways to roam, and this still has every possibility of turning into a beautiful hammer. So I don't know what you're saying, but I've made the realization myself that this isn't really doing anything. And I think that's because I'm not hitting the side to help that swell around it. That's my thought. I don't know if that's correct or not. Another thought is you're not hitting the drift hard enough. I'm not hitting it hard enough? No. OK. I know those guns are just for show, Jamie. And it'd be hidden at harder, what, and longer as well, I'm assuming? You want to go deeper in? I thought you work it in gradually. What do you think you're going to do on the next heat? I think I'm going to just try hitting it harder and longer. And then, um, so you're saying we need to be doing this side bit. So I'm going to be putting this thing in, and then I want to line that up like this. OK, we're going to try that. Still don't know if it's right or not. Whoa. <laughs> Ouch! That looks good. Okay. If I hit it like this, it can pinch your finger. So try and switch hands with tool and drift. There we go. Oh, okay. How are you going to make sure it stays even on both sides? I do both sides? Yeah. Whoa.
Beautiful. What do you reckon we're doing next? I don't know. I don't know how far we need to go on this. I guess we start roughing in the side bits, right? If I knew what I was talking about, that would sound like a reasonable idea. Right. It's very important to stay hydrated when you're making hammers. Don't worry about anything else, just hammers. You're making tongs, it's not so much of an issue. But... Right. Uh... How do I line this up? Do I just tie it? You sure? Yeah. I wonder how important it is to flip it this way. Sure? <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah? Jamie, I've got an idea. Yeah? Go have a look at the YouTube video again. There's a bit, there's a design of these tongs that is such that it makes life easier and safer. A design of the tongs? The tongs. Oh, you hold it in the thing. I think it was holding it differently. I can't actually remember how I was holding it, but I think we're on the right track. Was I holding it like that? Right. Which is quite difficult. And it swings around a lot. Yeah. Whereas it's very straight. I think we're hitting in the right place, though. Okay. Ooh. It needs to be hot, doesn't it? We're going to carry on on this side for now. I can really feel it hit, like, wedging into that thing. I'm going to put it back in and then start working on the other side. Okay. How are you feeling about how it's lined up? I think I'm pretty happy with it. I'm now going to start working on the 45 degree angles, I think. Nice. Straighten them up again. A little bit more heat and then the other side. It's starting to look quite hammer-like, isn't it? That looks beautiful. You're doing a really nice job. So I'm thinking in my head, how much deeper do these need to be before we go back to working on this face? The trouble is, is if you make it too thin, then everything starts bending around. Right, right, so it turns out that we're gonna drift it. like a seasoned professional. Right, so now at this point is where I'm starting to get lost. Because it looks like a hammer. I'm wondering exactly how it's finally refined. Well, why don't you start by having a look at it and seeing what you think needs to be neater what can be neater, and what gets it closer to its final form. So it's much wider this way than yours. That's just a matter of the proportions of the billet. I guess the things need to go further to the edges. Woo! Same again on the other side. I'll tell you what, Alec, you really need to keep on top of your hydration. Oh my goodness. Your glove is smoking. <laughs> Why does this not want to come off there? <laughs> Put the face on the anvil. We'll clean the fullers up, and then I think it's forged. That's all she wrote. One more for luck. Lovely job, Jamie. One thing that does come to mind is I haven't seen you use the brush once. <laughs> well done, Jamie. Cracking job. I truly believe that that is a first hammer to be bloody proud of. Well done. <laughs>
This episode has been sponsored by Squarespace. It's a website building platform that I was using so long ago that I used it to sell the hammers that I used to forge just like this. And I'd sell them on my website. Then, when I was teaching people how to make hammers just like this, I sold spots for the classes on Squarespace too. And since then, the platform has grown so much that you can even sell access to exclusive content using Squarespace member areas. You can now book clients using Squarespace scheduling, use Squarespace point of sale if you've got a brick and mortar store, and you can even run all your email marketing marketing campaigns on the exact same platform. It is so useful, so efficient, and you don't need any coding experience thanks to their countless drag and drop themes that make your website scale beautifully between mobile and computer, empowering you to be fully in control of the website that is the backbone of your business or hobby. So please go get started, see how easy it is to build a Squarespace site today at squarespace.com forward slash forge. You'll get a 14 day free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Check them out down below. Thank you, Jamie, for having a really fun day with me. Let's see and you all. And 12. There we go.